Oakland Mayor Libby Schaaf scores a late political victory in her final days in office, but tonight she's opening up about the complicated legacy she's leaving behind. I always tell little kids who ask, what's it like being the mayor of Oakland? It's the highest highs and the lowest lows. She's had eight years to shape one of the Bay Area's biggest cities. Libby Schaaf looks back on her proudest moments and where she's fallen short. I know I put my heart and soul into serving my beloved hometown, and it will be for others to decide whether that was a good job or not. Round the clock recovery efforts in Humboldt County after the powerful 6.4 earthquake. How small towns are coming together to pick up the pieces. All I saw was a bunch of people running around. I would ask them, do you need help? And no, I'm going to help someone else. It's, I was very impressed by that. New troubles for Tesla. How Elon Musk's double duty at Twitter may be hurting the world's most valuable car company. And it started with one family wanting to clean up trash in their neighborhoods. The volunteer effort that's making a noticeable difference on the streets of San Francisco. If you want better results, then you got to do something about it. And you're empowered to do it. You don't need permission. Leaving this. This is CBS News Bay Area with Juliet Goodrich. Good evening. Oakland's outgoing mayor is touting a final political victory tonight with less than two weeks left in office. Libby Schaff is leaving the city with a complicated legacy after eight years. A recent Chamber of Commerce poll showed 64% of respondents think Oakland is headed in the wrong direction. Well, today, Schaff announced a new education partnership to boost preschool access for children in low-income families. Now, the funding comes from Measure AA, which has been stuck in limbo during a three-year court battle. Now, our John Ramos was there as Schaff celebrated the personal win and also looked back on the highs and the lows of her time at City Hall. In just a couple of weeks, Oakland will swear in a new mayor, the 51st in its history. But at a final news conference, the outgoing mayor, Libby Schaff, reflected on her eight years at the helm of one of the Bay Area's most enigmatic cities. Outside the Oakland mayor's office, there is a gallery of all the bearded, stern-faced men who have served in the past 168 years. The contrast with the current occupant couldn't be greater. It's fitting that Libby Schaaf's final press conference would be about preschool access. As she comes to the end of her eight-year term, the Oakland native says her passion has always been about helping kids, and she referenced them as she spoke about her time in office. You know, I always tell little kids who ask, what's it like being the mayor of Oakland? It's the highest highs and the lowest lows. There are moments of just unbelievable joy, like riding in that first Moyers victory parade and seeing just the beauty of Oakland on full display. And there are moments of unbelievable tragedy and grief, like presiding over the ghost ship tragedy. Her style was that of a practical progressive, vocal on social justice issues, but also determined to deal with real world problems. For me, it was to fix the damn potholes but there were other problems that have proven far more difficult to repair. As far as frustrations and disappointments, um, the homeless crisis is just a moral outrage. On her very first day in office, she was awakened by protesters at her home, and she was criticized for touring the city with police officers. In her first five years, the homicide rate dropped. But later, as gun violence in the city swelled, Schaff was stymied in her attempts to increase money for police. My other probably disappointment is I was able to budget for a police force of nearly 800 officers, but never able to actually reach that staffing number. She's also been a strong advocate for locating a ballpark for the A's at Howard Terminal in the Port of Oakland. And while controversial, Schaff considers that an accomplishment that will one day be realized. Um, I I'd like to think I'm leaving them with the bases loaded. But as she prepares to leave office with the city still facing tremendous problems, Oakland's 50th mayor is reluctant to evaluate her own performance. I know I put my heart and soul into serving my beloved hometown, and it will be for others to decide whether that was a good job or not. Soon, a new mayor will take over, and she may find, as Schaff did, that in a city like Oakland, some problems are just too big for one person to fix. But it's not like she didn't try.
And looking forward, gun violence will be one of the biggest issues facing the next mayor. So some perspective. Violent crime is slightly down this year. The latest numbers showing 114 homicides this year compared to 121 last year. But it is still the most violent city in the Bay Area, recording more homicides than San Francisco and San Jose combined. Homelessness, another major issue. In fact, the number of unhoused people on the streets of Oakland has jumped 24% over last year's, and Oakland is behind on creating affordable housing. The city has only reached 26% of its low-income housing goals. A mandate from the state calls for 26,000 new homes in the city by 2031. So those challenges will fall on the plate now of Mayor-elect Sheng Tao. She's going to be sworn in on January 9th. And if you recall, Tao won a narrow victory in the city's ranked choice voting election. She sat down with us last month and she told us her experience with poverty and homelessness will actually help shape how she tackles the city's biggest issues. I'm going to do a whole listening tour of the city of Oakland, going into those small communities to really understand better what the issues are, what resources are needed, and really trying to deliver those results. Tao is the daughter of refugees, and she will be the city's first Hmong mayor.